Hi, this is that fat tutorial dudes, and today I'm going to show you what UDID Faker is and how to use it. So, what you first of all, before you we go into too much depth, UDID Faker stands for Unique Device Identifier. Now, that's a that's a code, um, a 40-digit code that goes with every single device and is unique for every single diff for your device. You have a single unique identifier code. So, if you download an app. That app knows what your unique identifier code is, and that app will, the app will recognize it. And every single time you go onto that app, let, um, it'll recognize your unique identifier code and hook it up to your account. So let's say you have a Facebook. Every single time you go on Facebook, it's going to know what your identifier is, and then it'll it'll um, know which account to log into. So what a faker does is you can change your special device unique identifier code, and you can change it to anything you want. So um, if someone else tells you their unique identifier code, it's located if you scroll down at the bottom of the first this front city homepage. You can see it. It's a 40-digit number. That's what your unique identifier is. And if anybody tells you it, you can you can play some of the apps that they have accounts on. So I'll go a little more in depth than this. Now I'm going to show you a version that works on the 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 firmwares. So you're going to want to add a source to get this one. Um, like the original version of UDID Faker is available for free, but this is for the Forex firmers in case you're having some problems because sometimes people have problems. So it's gonna, you're going to enter the source, the iPhone Spot Repo dot net slash apt. This one right here. Enter that source, and then you're gonna install that source. And this is actually a really nice source. They have a lot of cool stuff here. As you can see, I'm scrolling down. I'm on B, you see. So you're going to go to UDID Faker 4.0. You're going to install this if you have a 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3 firmware. So then what you're going to do is just going to install this app here. And it's going to look like this. And here are all the different apps that you have on your iPod. And what you do when you click on it is it shows a unique identifier. Now this is... um. I've already changed my identifier, but this is just for an example. So let's say you have an app that has an account on it. So I'm going to use the example of AirCoaster. Now this app, ha you can make an account on this app. And let's see here. So let's say I have an account. I bought this app for 99 cents. I have an account, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I play the game, whatever. And so um, here, this is just um, an example. So let's say this is your main account that you have on this app. Okay, so and if this is um you can do this for any apps like there are many other apps like you can do this for Tower Madness if you really wanted to. You can do it for some of those online apps. Um so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up UDID Faker and then the app that you want to change and you're gonna hit random UDID or you can type in your own but as you can see what it says right on the top is it has to be uh, 40 letters and A through F numerics which is basically hex code so now we're going to go back to this app and when we go here it's not going to recognize my device so it's going to ask me to create a new account so that's what you can do with UDID Faker you can use for many different apps, if the apps have an online function and you want to make a new account, you can use UDID Faker. And you can make a new account on pretty much any app. So I hope this helps. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.